2020 has thrown us a couple curveballs, and if I listed all those curveballs, I would run over my allotted intro time. But, you know, here we are still living through a pandemic, and ASU has to remain adaptable. So as we look forward into the fall semester, we gotta ask the students what their experience has been like learning remotely. So this is You Asked ASU Sync Edition. What about the ASU faculty? Have they been pretty accommodating with everything? Yeah, I think so. Like most of my teachers have been super understanding um, and have been really good with adjusting the like coursework and stuff like that um, to make sure everyone's well accommodated. I think it's definitely shown a little more of the personal or the human side of my professors, seeing when their kids are running around in the background or if they have animals, um, like dogs barking. And it's just really nice to see that side because it's not a side we would get to see otherwise. My teachers and stuff have been handling the situation very well. They've been very kind and like, my door is always open. Like, uh, you can talk to us if you need to talk about anything that's going on, school or personal. So how has ASU been helpful in this transitional process? Our professors are really great. They're, they're all, like always with me. They're checking up on me, sending me daily emails. And ASU has also set up online tutoring to me, which is really great. Especially through, you know, my major, the Cronkite School, there's, they're doing, it's every single day, they're coming out with a new way to connect the students and connect the faculty. I think the, the staff and professors, the directors, the dean has done a really good job of, of providing us with resources and making sure that we're feeling taken care of. I got a call the other day, actually, from someone from the School of Community Resources and Development just calling to see how I was and I thought that was so pers personable and really lovely and we just talked and she gave me a lot of resources of how I can handle the stress and just unknowing of this time. I have a professor, uh, love her heart, um, her name is Marsha and she's 73 and <laughs> I did not think she was going to be able to figure it out but she isn't doing anything. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I think I learned that they are really adaptable and resilient as well. 